In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most powerful tools I've ever used to improve my dating life, and that's embodiment. And particularly in this case, energetic embodiment. I'm going to go right into that. Before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it, and uh, I don't want you to miss any of the awesome content. So well, let's dive right in. What is embodiment, and why does it improve your dating life so much? Why does it make you so much better with women? Because it's really simple. I want you to think about this and take this very seriously. And why does it improve your communication in other areas too, whether you're in sales, whether you're in a woman who wants to connect deeper with a man, you want to connect with your family, you want to have a better and intimate relationship with your partner. It's huge for that. I've had so many marriages repaired because of this. It's because embodiment teaches you to relate to another person through emotions and feeling in a grounded, solid way, not being needy, not being insecure, not being weak. It teaches you how to feel a woman's emotions when she's sad, when she's happy, when she's excited, and she can feel you feeling those emotions because you let it into your body. And then how to give emotion back to her and how to show her your passion, your turn on, your excitement, your purpose. That's what real vulnerability is. It's not about being sappy or needy or weak. You see, when you're truly embodied and truly vulnerable, your heart's open. There's a sense of warmth that comes from here. It's almost an endorphin rush. And when you're talking to somebody else, they can feel that connection from you. And uh, when your heart's closed and you're just doing it all from your head, like most guys try to do when they learn how to meet girls, sales, they're trying to figure something out. I see girls on Tinder doing it all the time. Okay, how old are you? Well, do you have any kids? Do you have this? And they're going right up here to try to figure it all out. Um, it's just unattractive and it's uninteresting. I have no time for that. I have no interest in that. If somebody's gonna stay in their head with me, I'm not gonna be able to feel what they're feeling. I'm not gonna be able to trust them. And for a woman, that's 10 times more important. If I'm speaking to a woman and I don't open my heart, drop into, and you can literally drop into your gut, which is your gut instincts. That's where your, I think gut is the second brain. Look that up online. That's where your instincts are, right? That's why the gut gets uh, twisted, knotted when you're angry. And when you got a lot of anger, and then you get gut problems when you store up anger. And then you get down to the turn on. And the turn on is down in the hips. It's where you feel excitement. You feel uh, passion. And when you begin to feel down the core of your body, what we call the center pillar, and you begin to let a woman feel you feel all that, which is very real. I look at you, let you in, and I feel you in my heart. And I can feel her excitement. She feels my excitement. And then I let her into my stomach. And I feel my gut instinct. She starts to feel my power. That's where she'll start getting attracted. She gets connected at the heart, attracted at the stomach, and, and then the attraction amplifies at the level of the hips. And then your groundedness comes from your legs. It's feeling the earth beneath you support you. And so this is why the athletes and the jocks get the girls, the artists get the girls, because they feel so much more. This is why the nerds don't get the girls, because they're stuck up here. Now imagine this, I walk up. Hi, my name's Brian. I just want to say hi, how you doing? You know, what are you doing uh, tonight? Or let's say sales, you know? Um, uh, it's good. What do you like about this automobile? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think like I'm not a car salesman. You guys get the idea. But if you let somebody in to the core center pillar of your body, learn to feel all of this and you relate from all this, and you still stop thinking so much because a lot of energy runs down here. Then I let a beautiful woman or a client or my wife or girlfriend into my heart and I say, hey, how you doing? What are you feeling today? And she opens up and we feel each other's hearts for a moment, there's actually a bridge that gets connected from here. And it's real and it's alive and it's full of life. And they feel that. They feel my empathy when she's sad. They feel my love. They feel my appreciation. They begin to trust. They feel my certainty. And when it comes from the gut, it even feels more powerful. I have the heart and the gut together. And I say, I like you. She knows I mean it. And I say, there's something about you. I want to get to know you better. She knows I mean it. And that's powerful when you think about it. When you feel it going to your grounding into the earth and the earth support you, she feels that too. And that is what I call a real man. A grounded, solid man that's in his heart, in his turn on, has power in his stomach, and he's not thinking about the next line. Because why do you need to think about the next line at all, really? Like if she's saying something to me and she's saying, you know, I'm really passionate about art, and you feel her light up, you feel her heart turn on, you feel her turn on, turn on. Do I need to think about the next thing to say? Really, I don't. If I, if I feel that and I, she can feel me empathetically feeling her and I say, oh, what is it that you like about art? Or what's your favorite kind of art? Or why? What made you fall in love with art? And I say it with passion, she'll lock right in. You know, I had a, a woman that worked for me in workshops many years ago and she said, 
a guy came up to her. She worked in the workshops and worked on the guys all day long. And I remember this guy came up to her at a restaurant and he started trying to hit on her. And she blew him off so hard. And I, I asked her, I said, why did you blow him off so hard when you know when you know how hard some of these guys work at this? And she said, because a bullshit question gets a bullshit answer. He was completely in his head. He wasn't present with me. He wasn't feeling anything. And it pissed me off, you know, because I wanted him to show up when he came up. And he's hiding. He's He's hiding. Now you may or may not like that as a man, it may trigger you. But in her mind, she was using intensity to say, show up. I want to feel your emotions. I want to feel your passion. I want to feel your heart. Not your neediness per se, but your heart and your power. And that comes from embodiment. Okay. So this is a little bit of a video I wanted to do on attractiveness and energetic embodiment and uh, why it's so important, why it's so powerful. You can see I've got lots of little releases on here. I talk more about it. If you wanna learn more about energetic embodiment, I'll do some more videos in the future where we'll play with some more releases and actually movement. There's a movement aspect, energetic embodiment, where you do moving meditations to feel the hips more, the heart more, things like that. That's stuff I like to do in the trainings, but I just don't, on the YouTube videos, maybe, maybe I should do a few and see how they translate, but I definitely can do some more releases on this. Now, with that said, make sure to check out my previous video. This is really powerful if you want to turn up your ability to feel on being a sexually disciplined man. That is a powerful video. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere in here. Definitely want you to watch that if you can, and then put a comment in the video. Uh, what do you think about this? Do you believe that energetic embodiment is real? Now, let us all know. Do you believe, have you experienced it? Have you done some of it? Have you done any of my work and you've done? I'd love to hear these comments. And uh, as always, remember, true courage leads to true happiness. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Have a beautiful day.